Welcome back, Joaquin Newman, captain Thank of you. Talkie GC. Another brilliant round today. Six under par, total 13 under par, top of the leaderboard. Talk us through your day. Yeah, it was a, it was a great day. Uh, I see it as a way better day than yesterday because the way I started, I mean, I was obviously playing great. I started with seven parts in a row, and I and I didn't get off that hot start like like I did yesterday. And yeah, and I and I kept do, and I kept playing better and better during the day. So I yeah, I really take positive that that the way I play at, at the end of the last couple of holes on, on today. Was there a moment where the birdie started falling to something click? Uh, no, I think it was just being patient. Everything was, everything I was doing, I was I was hitting it great. I was putting great. I just didn't didn't make birdies. And like on number four, I had a had a good chance and didn't make birdie there. The wind was playing a little bit more into than normally, so I think it was playing a little bit longer. And then I hit a great shot on on number eight to make birdie there and. I make a great putt on number nine too. Gonna kind of give me a lot of confidence and momentum for the round. And yeah, I mean, I keep hitting good shots. On on ten, I hit a great bunker shot. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, just being patient and just being staying at, at the moment. And yeah, I ended up doing good, good, good putts, good birdies. Cool. Over to Mike. Waco, obviously you're on this hot streak. What, what would it mean to uh, complete the, the deal tomorrow? That would be two wins in the first three live events. Uh, what kind of message would that be for you and also to the rest of the golfing world? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's, that's my goal uh, is to win this week. I know there's a lot of golf to play tomorrow. It's a lot of... A lot of shots that I gotta hit tomorrow, and I gotta be confident doing those. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still a, a long, long way ago away. I'm on the position where I wanted to be, so it's just, yeah, I mean, I just go from there, and hopefully tomorrow, have a great day too. Uh, see my shots. Uh, stay calm, and yeah, I mean, just, just do the same. I mean, it, I know it sounds easy <laughs> to just keep doing the same, but. It's just, it's just the same. <laughs> if, you, if you had to pinpoint one aspect of your game since Australia that has kind of really carried you through this stretch, or maybe there was a change or something like that, well, what would you cite? I think my... The thing is, uh, I mean, everything's gotten a little better. I think my driving is... Since Australia has been so good... Uh, I've been able to hit the all the trajectories that I want to, uh, and, and being confident with those, and and be aggressive of the tee, hitting that high draw more often than I normally do. Uh, I'm doing that shot. I, I gain at least 20 yards on the other, the other routine low cut that I had before. So, so yeah, I mean, being confident with that high draw, I think it's been helped me a lot being confident on, on the rest of my game, you know, so I can be more aggressive off the tee on my second shots. And and also, I mean, everything is, is getting better. I mean, around the green, I feel like I'm, I'm chipping a lot better. Uh, I think that's something that I still need a lot of work. I I know I can get a lot a lot better around the greens. And and I think that's what you need to be, to play really good and consistent golf, especially on the majors. Thank you. Hey, Marco. Uh, what a great round, and, and you hit sh so many amazing shots. But if I have to ask you to pinpoint one shot that you were really pleased with and your best birdie of the day. Uh, I think on 18, my second shot on 18, it was a, it was a weird lie. Uh, it was kind of on the first cut, little into the grain. Uh, had my four iron on my rescue. And I was trying to draw it around, you know, around the water, kind of aiming at the right bunkers. And if I hit it straight, just you know, gonna be on the bunkers. And yeah, it was a tricky lie. I hit a good swing, and yeah, and there have been on the green, pin high on the left, which is which I think it was a it was a great shot. And and what was the yardage from where you hit? I I had like two thirty six to the front. I was just playing for the front, and I know it was gonna release, so it was. I think it was a good number. It was a tricky lie, but yeah, and there have been pretty good.
And was that the best birdie of the day also for you? Uh, I mean, I was just thankful that that, that that shot on 18 was good, but, but I think my best shot of the day, I think it was on number 10, uh, the bunker shot. I had like an uphill lie. The thing was all the way on the back. It was like a 40 yards bunker shot with the wind and I had to land it all the way there. So yeah, he did 60 degrees from there. And I think it's a kind of like a high risk shot because you, you can hit it clean and it's, it's going way past the green and you can hit it easily pretty fat too. So it was, yeah, it was a great shot. Okay. I think and that's my, my favorite of the day. And, and one last question from me. Uh, are you more proud of the fact that how you were patient for seven holes, you did not get a birdie despite playing so well? Was that a moment of, you know, was was that a matter of great pride for you? Yeah, I, I, I felt really happy when I finished the round, the way I, how I was patient during the day. I, you know, I couldn't, bur couldn't make birdies on number four, uh, probably on number Number two, I hit a good putt too. I, I couldn't have been a few birdies before before number na number eight, but but yeah, I mean I I knew kind of told myself that I I I know I can make birdie on every hole here. I just need to keep hitting my shots and I don't need to to lose any focus because of not making birdies. And yeah, and I think I just stick with my same game and just like I said, I mean I just being patient and, and wait for those those birdies to come. All right. Thank you, Joaquin. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks.